and welcome back to another episode of NBA 2K12. In this video, we're going up against the San Antonio Spurs. So after this is we managed to beat Oklahoma City Thunder by six. And now we're doing up against the MLK match over the Texas rival San Antonio Spurs, who's still surging with 16 and 20. Who's still bad to start, led by Tim Duncan, Kawhi Leonard, and Martin Jr. since Antonio McDowell's was left to Spurs. So, what is standing from San Antonio in the way, still currently the number 10 seed with 16 and 20. So, it's supposed to be an ending up right there, the Dallas Max could be 34 and 4, could be another hot streak continues. So, skipping the next game, we're up against the Pistons and we head to the game against the Pacers. Or do they want another skipping again? So, we're gonna go and skip back back games with Pistons and Pacers and then skip to the Timberwolves, which might be possible to 0 1 R's. So the Colts were ready to go guys and then we're going up against the San Antonio Spurs. Let's find out tonight the second meeting of the year and for this game, Maverick's gonna use our navy blue this time. So now that's it for now. This is Andre Kenshin. I will write back hopefully the Maverick's going for another win to say red hot. Now enjoy the video. Hello and welcome. I'm Damon Bruce here with you as we get ready for a little NBA action on 2K Sports. Today's broadcast in tribute to Martin Luther King. It'll be Dirk Nowitzki and the Dallas Mavericks facing off against Tim Duncan and the San Antonio Spurs. I'll catch up with you later for the HB Halftime Report. Welcome to the NBA here on 2K Sports, a special Martin Luther King Day edition. I'm Kevin Harlan, alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke reporting from the sidelines. It's the Battle of the Alamo here in San Antonio as the Dallas Mavericks come in here in hopes of making a statement. They won in their last outing, Saturday's game. Well, they, their shooting percentage was phenomenal. And they were on the mark all night, and that was a game they earned with their offensive execution. And Steve, it really did seem like there was a team-wide confidence they had at the offensive end. It was fun to watch. And here are the Mavericks starting five, courtesy of State Farm. Dirk Nowitzki and Tyson Chandler in the middle. Devin Harris is out there with Terry, and it's Carter in at the small forward. And for the Spurs, Parker and Manu are the backcourt. Duncan out there with Blair, and it's Leonard in at the three spot. Deflected outside Carter, but they get it back. The three is watched. That's good. Nowitzki's got the first three points of the night up on the board for the man. Nowitzki with the steal. Now Chandler. Duncan brings the double team. The yard. And Carter with the basket on the assist by Harris. I like it. But I mean, he dropped a dime on him right there, guys. Let's send it out to Doris Burke, who's caught up with head coach Rick Carlisle. Doris. Thanks a lot, Doris. I definitely can appreciate their approach with the three ball. Open and closing down. Harris has got his first basket of the night. You know, he's definitely a catalyst for their offense, guys. I mean, he was so talented, he really causes problems for the other team's defense. Ginobili against Terry. Harris against Parker. Here's Leonard. And it's good in the assist by Parker. Leonard's got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three. Outside Carter, another three for Dallas. 
This has been the start that they had hoped for, coming out knocking down four of their first five shots. Chinobu gets to Leonard. Guarded now by Jason Terry. Parker, right side. Six on the shot clock. This is it to Duncan. That is blocked. Shannon Fries checked in for Tyson Chandler. Dallas has come out of the gates quickly. Six-point game. And again, San Antonio here for the second time this season. You know, that last game I thought was a, an evenly played game, but the difference was the big discrepancy in the free throw percentage in their favor. That, that's what helped them win. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Clark, it doesn't do any good to get to the line if you're only going to hit one of the two free throws. You're exactly right, Kevin. You don't want the hack-a-shack strategy to be a way for a team to beat you. You want it to be a last resort strategy. Here's Ginobili. He's coming off a 16-point game against Houston. Parker kicks to Ginobili. There's the triple. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Looks like a three-point contest out there, guys. Yeah, you were fit right in, partner. I mean, you hit one on us, we'll hit one on you. A terrific battle going on here. Nowitzki, good. Boy, it's been a hot shooting first quarter for them so far. I mean, it's been fun to watch. I mean, the shots are dropping, and it's led to an excellent start. Here's Leonard. That ball is nice to do that time for Miles Younger. Leonard's got six. Parker against Hicks. Hooked away. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Here now, the 2K leaderboard, showing us the best passing teams in the NBA over the course of the last month. The Mavericks, number one. The last few weeks have shown these guys that being patient with your passing can earn you some easy looks and baskets. Excellent teamwork. The more you do it, the more you're rewarded, and it becomes contagious. Jumps up, and it's sent back by Levitsky. Mavericks leading by five. Carter kicks to two. A three, another three for Dallas. Well, and the bounce pass was the key to the play. Here's San Antonio, trailing here by eight. A tough loss coming against the Rockets in the last game they played. I'm guessing they got quite a post-game speech from their coach because that was a really poor performance. I would say it might be a little more than a post-game speech. He may have done more than just talk that way. And two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. Yeah, anytime you've got an unselfish team, the ball will find the open play. Looking at who's out there now for the Spurs. Mason checks in for Juwan Blair. And Sessions subbed in for Tony Parker. And it's blocked. Out of bounds. They'll keep possession. With the All-Star game almost here, let's see how the West is shaping up. You look at Dallas. Here in the middle of the season, they're in great shape, sitting atop the conference. And of course, the San Antonio Spurs. More than a few spots below. You know, checking out San Antonio, they've got people all around the league shaking it. Oh, oh, hey, down for oh, a monster throwdown. Wow. Boom. Here's Sessions. Nine points last game. And it's Carter picking him up. Here's Leonard. The shot's good. Sessions making him pay. Leonard's got his third puck of the night. Back to Carter. Deflected. Leonard with the steal. Now part of the reason they are where they are is that they have taken care of the ball for the most part. And they're on the break. Here's Carter. And he slams on it. Wow! Now the Sprite slam cam for the replay. Now that's just rubbing it in. For <laughs> Throwing it down with style. Uh, These folks are not going to forget that one anytime soon. Leonard. Good on the assist by Ginobili. Ginobili's got three 
assists in the game. Feeds it to Stevenson. Picked up by Ginobu. And Stevenson kicks to Cope. Terry outside. On deep. That is good. Terry's got his second basket of the night. It has been all offense here early. It sure has been. I mean, both teams clicking, and it's been an entertaining game as well, guys. Not the guy you want to send to the line. And he makes the first. Both teams will make substitutions. All three throws good from Zanuck. Here's Harris. Playing Oklahoma City. He was nearly unstoppable. Covered by Sessions. Harris outside. And another basket for Dallas. Well, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. Bring an extra defender and force somebody else to beat you. I agree with you. Make him give it up. Three for the first quarter. Great scoring for one. The Mavericks on top. They lead by six. This Thursday night, the Los Angeles Clippers go up against Kevin Love and the Minnesota Timberwolves, live from Target Center. It's the real deal. And welcome back to the 2K Sports Broadcast of the NBA, celebrating Martin Luther King Day. This is Kevin Harlan with Mark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Boris Burke. Here is Parker, looking for his first bucket of the game. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All through the and down the goal for the start of the second floor. On the floor right now for the Mavericks. Fort Nevitsky and Tyson Chandler in the middle. Stevenson out there with Devin Harris. And it's Howard in at the three spot. Nowitzki outside. Just five on the clock. And blocked. But he stays with it. Harris dishes to Nowitzki. And good coming on the assist from Devin Harris. Harris has got four assists now tonight. Parker against Harris. To the middle. Got a piece of it. Here's Blair. And he makes good on the way. Well, that was a clever look to get the ball into the paint that time down. Mavericks leading by four. Goes it up high. Very pretty. Allen Gwynn. Ten points for Nowitzki. Superb feed there, young fella. It really was. Perfect setup for the lane. Now he just managed to float the ball up there. Another team on Parker. Mayo is guarded by Stevenson. Mayo hits good. As soon as the double team came, he immediately looked to find the open man. And so here is Dallas. Next up will be a home game matched up against the Pacers. And that will be the first game of five straight at home. Takes a three. That's good from Harris on the assist by... Nowitzki. Ten points for Devin Harris. A lot of the boys they've given up have come on open threes like that one. It has to be disconcerting and frustrating to their coach. Well, they should roll down. I mean, they're never stopping the coach. You can't leave these guys wide open on the corner. All the Mavericks with it. They lead by four. And Parker comes with the help. It's a look. That's good for Nowitzki. I mean, it's just by Harris. Harris has got six assists in the game. Mavericks leading by six. Three from Stevenson. Another three for Dallas. Well, with the defense recovering into the lane, you've got a wide open shooter at the three point line. Here's Miller. And 
Dallas has possession. Nine point game from 17 feet out. And it's Dallas with another. They're just trying to get out and outrun their opponent. That's exactly what's happening. And I like the way the game plan is working right quite nicely right now. I mean, they're running right by them and racking up a bunch of fast break points. And some changes here for the split. Mason, he checked in for Blair. Duncan comes in for Splitter. And it's Leonard in for Sonny Williams. Dallas also making some changes. Eric Dampier's checked in for Chandler. And it's Carter in for Deshaun Stevenson. Here's Mayo. That's blocked. Here are the Mavericks now. 11 point game. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. And while we can, let's have a look at the 2K leaderboard to find out who have been the most efficient scorers in the NBA this month. Dirk Nowitzki, number one. Second is Vince Carter. Well, they've both had a fantastic run of late. They found a nice rhythm and flow. And the coaching staff has noticed and have been, the coaches have been calling plays for these guys to take advantage of their hot shooting. And Leonard gets it to go. Leonard's got 14 points for the end. And Nowitzki backs in. There's the three. And Carter with the basket on the assist by Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got his third assist on the night. Parker double teamed. Here's Mayo. And it goes as the official. change here the Mavericks Terry's checked in some good play for Mayo in this one he's got 11 points and he's picked up two three pointers to add to his totals well one thing that's great when you're knocking down that three you're feeling confident you like the ball you want to get more shots from downtown Nowitzki's shot's good you know he's a rarity in the NBA guys a big man who can launch it from deep and Terry over to help let's the three fly Mayo's got 16 points. Mavericks leading by 10. Nowitzki outside. Mayo against Harris. Nowitzki for three. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Nowitzki against Mason. Again, the score is good for two. Here's Trey. Six points for him. Now here is Harris. Nowitzki outside. Guarded now by Duncan. Back to Harris. With the three. That drops and it comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. 15 points for Devin Harris. That's nine straight points coming off three three-pointers. The defense just getting shelled. Steve, the threes are killing them. I think they've got to find a way to chase them off the three-point right right And here's Mayo for three. And again, it's Sam Turner with the three. This guy's been an artist with that three-point shot. He should have had this, Steve. I mean, the majority of his points are coming from out there. the end of the first half of play live from the AT&T Center in San Antonio thanks so much for joining us on the A the Trailblazers will square off against the Wizards in our nation's capital that one gets going at 7 p.m. Eastern and another game that's coming up it'll be the Bulls out at United Center against the Timberwolves 7 p.m. Eastern tip time. And a look here at the other action around the association. The Hornets will face off against the Rockets out in Houston. Two teams, one division. Should be a good one. Start time, 7 o'clock Eastern. And we'll see you next time. Second half about to get underway in San Antonio. So long, basketball fans.
And welcome back to our special presentation of the NBA for Martin Luther King Day. Here is Parker. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Parker and Manu are the backcourt. Blair is up there with Duncan. And it's Leonard in at the three. And that's who's in the game for the Spurs. Gets the ball from 20 feet away. Leonard's got the first point, so the third quarter up on the board. And nobody getting in the way. Not at all. Major throw down there. With that one, boy, they got the crowd buzzing there. Pretty perfect play all around. What a fantastic dunk to finish it off, too. Get Parker double team. Straight up. It's Ginobili outside, and again, it's San Antonio with a three. Well, you have to play him tough. That's just too good. It's Vince Carter on the win. And he slam down low. Another look on the Sprite Slam can. First come on, man. I didn't see this. Can you believe Typical dunk. They double with the Mitch. Shooting for San Antonio. First one falls for And he makes both free throws. Here's Terry. Six points for him. Early shot attempt. Carter Carter's got five points in the quarter. The lift they've gotten from him today has been huge. I mean, he's been steady offensively and has helped them get out in front here so far. San Antonio calls timeout. And here we have the 2K leaderboard showing us the teams with the best free throw percentage during the past month. Fifth, the Mavericks. Kevin, I'm absolutely amazed. I mean, their production at the line has been spectacular. I mean, it's been unbelievable. Well done by these guys of late. There's Ginobili. He's got 10. Guarded now by Jason Terry. Here is Blair. Parker. Guarded by Harris. Gets the three And it's got 19 points. That was there. Up from outside now. Yeah, of the last five boots, three of them. Four straight from the field, guys. Off to a quick start this third quarter. Parker double team. Lifts up. from Dirk Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got his fifth assist in this one. Carter comes in with the double team. The first free throw is good. And some changes here for the Mavericks. Fry comes in for Chandler. And it's Stevenson in for Devin Harris. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Mavericks leading by 11. Carter with the three that drops and it comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got six assists here tonight. And here we go with Tony Parker. Looking for his first bucket of the game. Ginobili kicks to Duncan. Here's Leonard. And they come right back with their own three point. This boy is saying, give me the ball. I'm taking over. I'm demanding the ball. And you know what? He's delivered. A tremendous performance this year. Kicks to Nowitzki. They're on him. And there's Dirk Nowitzki on the assist by Carter. Carter's got four assists now tonight. Another great job of moving the basketball and finding a good shot. 
Steve, that's been the theme for them so far. They really work well with the unit together, and this is totally that. That is some great passing from him. Yeah, it makes it tough for the defense to chase that ball around when it moves. all over the court. Yeah, it sure does, Clark. And look at the assist totals. They're piling up. I mean, this is, it's been a, a nice game execution-wise for this club. And stolen by Fry. Got a piece of Novitsky with it. 24 points for him. Carter kicks to Novitsky. Launches it. Another three for Dallas. Boy, this is a shooting exhibition, guys. I mean, he's not wasting any of his chances. Mano Ginobili on the way. Launches a three. That drops. And comes up an assist from Parker. Parker's got his main position to game now. Tries to keep it alive. Leonard with the steal. Look at the turnover situation, guys. <laughs> he is taking over this game, guys. I don't know what else you can say about it. Parker outside. It is now to Genova. Pocket six. And it's Carter picking him up. Goes up. Defunded by Nowitzki. Mavericks leading by 13. It's 9 7. Second separate in the shot clock in game. Tim Duncan with the rebound. Here's San Antonio. Trailing by 13. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. That will complete this four-game homestand. Stevenson gets called for the reach. That's foul number two for him. Substitution on the court. We've got 13 seconds left in the third. Out of bounds. And the return possession. And now that we have a chance, let's show you the NBA's top two. This is the list of this month's steals leaders. Take a look at Harris. Always dangerous on the court. He leads the lead. Well, it's been a great few weeks for him, Captain, especially when you look at what he's done defensively. His effort there has kind of reminded me of the Tasmanian Devil. And he's actually helped his team create scoring opportunities off its defense. I think defensively, you've got to commit a second defender. He's just destroying you right now. Yeah, one-on-one, -on -one, he's been a handful. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Dirk Nowitzki having a dominant impact in this game. Yeah, it's been a lockdown defensive effort from him through the first three quarters. He's just swatting shots away. Well, the reach and the timing he's shown to get to some of these shots has been really impressive. He looks like he has telescope arms out there. Yeah. He's like an octopus. <laughs> Back here in just a moment from San Antonio. This Wednesday, John Wall and the Washington Wizards go up against the Utah Jazz. Hoops action. It's time for the fourth quarter and time to check in with the fourth member of our team, Doris Burke, for our Sprite Spark Report. Hi, Doris. Thank you, Kevin. It's the Mavericks with the spark of the game with that push we saw. 
Their advantage was built through their defense, namely that great second quarter when nothing got by them. They parlayed that great run into the lead they now have. Can they keep it? We'll see. Great stuff as always, Doris. Thank you, Clark. That was the game's critical point. Yeah, I agree with you. I really think it was. I mean, it really tipped things in their favor. No doubt about it. Man, that's going to happen to you when you keep piling up those points and you get on a run like that. So with Nowitzki sitting on the bench, here's who Rick Carlisle's going with. Terry is out there with Kevin Harris. And there's Terry and Fry. Then there's Howard. And it's Jim Pierre in at the five. Terry outside. Here's the three. And Pruitt coming on the assist from Devin Harris. Nine points for Jason Terry. Harris on the double team. Here's Duncan. The shot's good. Sessions making the play. Tell you what, guys, he's helped his team just about every way possible today. Yeah, he's been without a weakness today, Steve. I mean, he's been excellent in every area. Here's Howard. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Man, offensive execution has been a story here. Just playing beautiful basketball. And, guys, you can see it in their advantage in field goal percentage. I mean, you get high-quality shots, and you're usually going to shoot well. They're playing outstanding basketball. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Greg Popovich coaching his team during that last break. He doesn't think they've been getting it all to say. Six to shoot. Three quarter. Another three for Dallas. Wow. Wow. What a great performance from him. He's hit three in each half. Here's Mills. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three point run. A different look for Dallas. He just forgets the East Jackson for Eric Gambier. Robert comes in for Josh Allen. And Garrett Temple subbed in for Jason Terry. And he makes the free throw. Oh, a perfect half at the free throw line for him. That'll help their comeback effort for real. Yeah, that's keeping them close. Uh, it's going to take a full effort here in the second half. But uh, they've got to continue to knock down these free throws. Harris kicks to Carter. Let's it go with the three. Next it is good. The assist from Harris. Carter's got 11 in the second half. Means his shot is good. Means his finish there. Defense was helpless. And Nowitzki backs in. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. 31 points for Nowitzki. Carter comes in with the double team. Let's it go from deep. And gets the bucket. What can you say? And it's three, now 12. Back to Nowitzki. Three quarter. Another three for Dallas. He's been key for this team's offense, the way he's distributed the ball. Yeah, you know, the offense is just moving through him, Steve. Uh, no doubt. Goes right up. Harris misses. Man, that's too bad. Easy shot there. And he's got to knock that one down. That's a concentration point right there. I mean, he just lost focus. You know, even though it's transition, he's got the green light to fire from there. He has a good look at the ball. Nowitzki outside. Carter for three. And drops and comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got his seventh assist here tonight. And all here, the Spurs decide to talk it over. They're behind by 15. 149 left to play in the final quarter. Here's what San Antonio's going with right now. Tim Duncan, he's checked in for Sonny Weems. Ginobili comes in for O.J. Mayo. And Tony Parker is subbed in for Sessions. Tyson Chandler is checked in for the Mavericks. Terry comes in for Garrett Temple. He gets it to go. Clark, they can burn some clock if they want to. Yeah, and maybe buy a little oxygen while they're doing it. <laughs> Again, the Mavericks score. He's done an outstanding job all game long. Absolutely a great job of finding an opening against the defense. Ginobili draws the double. Here's Leonard. Just good on the assist by Ginobili.
Genova has got five assists tonight. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect him to continue to run the offense for him until the defense makes him change plan. Open look. Vince Carter, the button on the assist by Harris. 34 points for Vince Carter. It's blocked. He's covered by Ginobili. He dishes it to Harris. He's picked up by Parker, and that one's good. And the Mavericks lead by 18. Just adds to what has already been a great day for him. Parker, Parker, Parker. Checking out here again with the slam can. that throw down. Well, Steve, that's as fancy a finish as you could possibly get. A serious degree of difficulty on that one. Now Harris. Here's Nowitzki. And good coming on the assist from Devin Harris. Nowitzki's got 38 points. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Nice little run here, but it may be too little too late. Yeah, I agree. Just not enough time, Steve. Um, the clock is their enemy, not their friend. Fades away. And there's Dirk Nowitzki on the assist by Harris. 40 points for Nowitzki. Pulls from the top of the key. Again, the Spurs good for two. And here comes Harris. The feed to Carter from deep three-point range. No good from three-point territory. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you next time. And now... Our Jordan player of the game, Dirk Nowitzki.
All right, so now it's time to do a box score. We're gonna get 10, five games and 10 games in a row. Check out here, Moon said, joined the Clippers after signing one year deal. Was worse the other because of saving home issues right there. Andrew Bull, good Marks now winning streak goes to 10. On the MLK 9, we won by 16. 36 points from Kawhi Leonard, 28 points from OJ Mayo. 40 points from Dirk Nowitzki, 34 points from Vince Carter, and almost 20 assists and 3 points as well by Devin Harris. 29 and 19. Other game, what's, got, what's going on around the league? League, we got Jam, Bayhawk, Skyforce, Legends, Blowout, Wizards, and Stampede. Other game, what's going on around the league? Wizards beat the Blazers, 27 and 8 by Asaya Thomas, 26 points from Andre Blotch, and 20 points from Marcus Aldridge. Boost beat the Raptors. 36 and 8, 7 by Derrick Rose, 22 points by Wingate. Rockets beat the Hornets and Kevin Martins got 50 points again. Louis Scola got 20, 19 and 10 by James Harden with 7 rebounds. And Kyle Larry Owens had double double, 10 assists and 9 points. 35 points for Eric Gordon, 26 points from Carl Landry. And almost triple double by Sunny Anna Gaines, 50 points, 14, re 14 assists and 9 rebounds. Grizz no Lakers, they're no match by Grizzlies as they lose the Memphis. 33 points by Zach Randolph and Rudy Gay, 25. Mike Conley, 23. 28 points for Kobe Bryant. 27 points by Dwight Howard. 13 9 by Paul Gasol. Nuggets beat the Thunder somehow. 33 and 12 by Russell Westbrook. 21 points for Kevin Durant. 24 points from Ty Lawson. And 22 points for Danilo Gallinari. And the other side, we got the Nets beat the Pacers. And despite Danny Granger, 40 points. Sharon Green got 52 points, Brooke Lopez got 27, and Williams got 20. So Green and Granger become a duo matchup. Magic beat the Bucks, 22 points for Andrew Byam, 21, 9, and 7 by Jamar Crawford, Tyrod Brooks, and 23, 10 by Brandon Jennings. And next, we got the Heat beat the Knicks, 34 and 8 by Amari Steinmar, 20 points by Kamara Anthony, Baron Davis got 10 and 10 assists. 35 and 11 not by LeBron and 32 by Dwayne Wade and finally the Jazz beat the Celtics 28 points from Paul Pierce and Al Jefferson's got 3, Paul Mears got 27. Moving on to January 22, we got another D League. We got three NBA games together with the three NBA games: the Raptors, Suns, Pistons, Hawks, and Warriors, Hawks, and Pistons, Clippers. In real life, that was the NFC. Let me hang on a second. In real life, we got the NFC Championship, no, Conference Championship in the real life 2012-13. That was the Ravens and the Patriots in the AFC Championship. Ravens opted the Patriots to move on the Super Bowl. In the second game, the 49ers beat the Falcons. The 49ers win the championship in the NFC Championship defeat the Atlanta, Hawks, the Atlanta Falcons. So, similarly, what's going on around the league here? We got Armar, Mad Ants, Bitcoin, Skyforce, Sixty Surge, Vipers, and Defender. Uh, Toro wins the story. We got the Suns lose to the Raptors. 29 points by Steve Nash. 22 points for Jermio Nelson. 11 10 by Noir Order. 31 points by Andrea Bardani. 26 and 10 by Noir DeRozan. 26 and 8 by Barbosa. Warriors no match by the Hawks. 40 points by Joe Johnson. 20 and 11 by. Josh Bev at 20 points by DJ Augustine and three of the players are 16 David Lee, Monte Ellis, and Curry alongside five rebounds and four assists, two steals as well. And the Clippers haul out by two against the Pistons. 29 points by Blake Griffin, 21 points for Chris Paul, 10 and 8 by DeAndre Jordan, and Tony McDyer, 6. Butler got 24, 21 and 4 by Ben Gordon, 12, 10 and 8 by Greg Maron, almost triple double. Move on in the next game on January 23. Gonna be the North D League games. We only have one D League games until this one is going on. There's stupid D League games, and they will be till till we'll stop on January 25. Will be rest for the league. What is happening? The stupidest game D League. We got Big Horns Energy, Heat Bulls, Nuggets, Nets, Hornets, Spurs, Wizards, Wizards Jazz, Grizzlies, Trailblazers, Suns, Lakers, Bobcat, 76ers, Celtics, Magic, Cavaliers, Knicks, Pacers, Mavericks, and Thunder Kings. We're up against the Pacers, so check out the standings here. And the Pacers still currently the number two seed with 27 and 12. Cavaliers are number three, New Jersey, Chicago, Milwaukee, Atlanta, Taiwan, Atlanta, New York, 24 and 17. On the west, we the Mavericks, Thunder, Grizzlies, Suns, Jazz, Trailblazers, Nuggets, and the Clippers. 
the other power rankings of tapping the Miami Heat back again to number one. This is one of the repeated of what happened there. We check out the pack six from league leaders as Kevin Durant and Dwayne Wade tied with 33.9. LeBron James has fit third to 33.5. Dirk has 33.4. And then we see others with Carter of uh, top 10. We move on in transportation trans four. Chris Moody sent down to the Wizards and Jamar Moonson for one year deal. Awards to check the All Star votes. Kobe Bryant still in the first, third, and Dwight on the East. Dwayne Wade, LeBron, and Greg Malone tied with Alford and tied with Alan Alford, Bargani, Hilbert, and Lopez tied with 14. Award race is still the same in the MVP, still the same in the rookie, six man, defensive player, and most improved player. And players do it are not things. Check out the records. Team NBA records was well to check out update at the end of the we're gonna have updates on MLK Day. So it looks like there's no one updates and there's no record settings right there. This is the first one right now. This game is so far. Let's check out the daily standings. Energy still in the number one, 16 and 9. And the second one's higher jam if you see what's happening about the around the week. Time to save the files now. We're gonna end of the stream of the video at 54 minutes. Very, 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 very short time. We're gonna end of the stream. So that should do it for now. This is Andre Kenshin at the Olympics. One day to go. The Olympic basketball fever is on. We're in almost there to start in Paris 2024 Olympics with the United States, United States squad with LeBron James. And that's it for now. This is Andre Kenshin. We'll see you tomorrow. We're up against Danny Granger and Paul George of the Indiana Pacers. Sign up and peace out. Good night, everyone.